it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. In this video, I'm gonna be adding an Instagram feed to my WordPress website. This is a great way of showing off um, some Instagram pictures and they don't necessarily have to be from your own account. You can pull in hashtags and other users' photos if you like. Now I've chosen this plugin because it's a free plugin and it's got some really nice kind of layout options in terms of how the photos actually display on your blog. So uh, without any more chit chat from me, let's get started and get it installed. Okay, so I'm over on the demo site now. Uh, this is a site that I play around with and you can also build a site like this by following one of my other videos on the channel. But um, yeah, here you go. And the plugin I'm gonna be using is this one here called Enjoy Instagram. It's a free plugin, although there is a premium version available if you want more features or if you like it. Um, but we'll be using the free one for now. And so let's go and install it straight away. So I'm logged in to my WordPress website. I'm gonna to go to the dashboard. Uh, then I'm going to go to uh, plugins and add new and then just simply type in the name which is enjoy and oh, there it is came up enjoy Instagram click install now there's obviously a lot of other Instagram plugins available so uh, if this one doesn't do what you want then feel free to have a look for some more but yeah I like this one so uh, hopefully it'll do what you need it to do so once it's installed and you clicked activate, then you need to go to settings and enjoy Instagram. And here we need to set up an application within our Instagram account. So if you just click on number one, and then click on this link here, it'll take you over to instagram.com slash developer. And you need to be logged into Instagram here. I'm already logged in. Um, and then up here, let me just double check the instructions, but I think you then go to, um, yeah, register your application and register a new client so here we go register a new client i'll call it the uh, demo site you can obviously call it what you want my demo site feed put the url in i'll just copy it from over here i'm very lazy when it comes to typing Ooh. Right, the redirect URIs, you can find it from here. Again, more copy and paste, so that's that one there. So I just pressed you know, Control C, Command C on a Mac to copy into my clipboard, and then it's Command V or Control V to paste. Then I put my email address in, and the capture. And it gives you some more information which we need to now copy and paste back into our website. So the client ID, let's click on number two. Client ID goes in there. And the client secret goes in there. I will um, just blur these out because I don't want you all to use my keys. You have to generate your own. Okay, then we click authorize application once you've put those uh, two bits of numbers and letters in. And then click authorize. And there I am, so that means it's all connected all okay. So now we just need to go and edit uh, a page or a post and add the short code. I'm just gonna use a new page for now, um, but obviously you could add it to your home page um, wherever you like really. So um, I'll just call this page Instagram feed. And what the plugin's done is it's added a new button um, to the editor, which allows you to insert the short code. So if you click that, you can then decide whether you want a carousel view or a grid view. So let's go for the carousel view and then I'll tell you what, a little further below, I'll put the uh, grid view two so that we can see the difference. So they're the two short codes. So you can obviously put them wherever you like on a post or a page or whatever you're doing. You know, you can put that anywhere. Then if we click view page, hopefully there'll be some Instagram. So yeah, this top one is the carousel. You can see it's just got a nice uh, scrolly thing for all the nice photos. And obviously this one is just like a basic um, basic grid, but you know, both look nice and would look good on a homepage or wherever you like. Okay, I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you've got any comments or questions, please just post a comment below. And if you like what I'm doing, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos. I will see you soon. See you later.